What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 21-22 Panini Elite Basketball just sold out. Six box break. Uh, Pikachu is number seven. Fresh case, guys. Number seven and eight are part of the same case. All cards ship. And here we go. Oh, sold out by Jonathan. Uh, Chris Hansen also, uh, a lot of customers here actually grabbed a lot of spots, uh, to get this sold out. So really appreciate it guys. Also guys, the guy just got one, two, three, four, five different teams in NT baseball. So that is now down to 10 left guys. So we could possibly squeeze that in at the end of the night. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, 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 dong. One second, guys. Just want to organize this. So these go here. This is like all the stuff. This way to the left, just like as we have been doing it this way. All right, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these will be for Pikachu number eight, which Joe should be able to get done for you guys. Tomorrow. Oh, scan that out. Let's do this.
Every single card? Alright. For Brittany, I will. Oh man, shit. I'm missing, uh. Forgot the Kings are playing back to back tonight. Kempe scored a, a great. A great goal, uh. Damn, I think this game's over already. Did the Kings lose? Or did they win? It's four straight times after trailing 3 to 1. Man! Kempe scored another two goals today? And Dowdy? Man, I gotta watch the replay now. Sheesh. Play like a six today, which is actually seven in Arizona, so that's why they play at six. J Dog, what's up, man? Damn. Go watch NHL tonight. Two goals and assist. Kempe got a two goals and assist. Kopitar with two points again. Man. Uh, I think around three, under three fifty. I think J Dog. I think we have them available on our website for like. Yeah, three fifty. Right there, Jaspies.com. I think it's a great price. I, I love the cards, actually. I really love the orange cards, the numbered, you know, when they're numbered. Uh, you get two autographs. I think it's a great price. Could be a lot higher, honestly. going up well, maybe not drastically but I, I could easily see it being like a $400 plus box which you know $50 a box more is, makes a big difference especially if you get like a whole case it's like an extra 500 600 bucks Stephen Kendra he doesn't got to do that and she told me something good oh happy birthday man happy birthday hell yeah man did you get some did you get Yankees what would you get Steven Kendrick, yes. Oh, Steven Kendrick got the Yankees, guys. Let's do it for Steven Kendrick. The later birthday, right there. So that means that we're down to nine left, guys, on that NT. I think we can easily squeeze that in at the end of the night. It's a great deal, two for 700 Hollywood, honestly. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna do these three first. 
If you're Santa, what song did I sing for your birthday last year? <laughs> the happy birthday song, of course. Damn it. Giannis. Giannis. And Ao. Or Io. That is for the Bulls. Charles is down. Clay, Clay Thompson. Oh, T Wolf, baby. There we go. Anthony Edwards, base, but still something. James Harden in forty nine. And Uzman to nine ninety nine. Jaron Jackson Jr. LeBron base, Zach Levine. More Giannis inserts. And Rod Strickland. Kawhi. And DeJounte Murray for the Spurs. 1099. Nas Reed. Clippers, that's Brandon Boston Jr. rookie. Nice, Kevin. That's awesome, buddy. Hell yeah. So it looks like we'll be able to do that NT, and that'll be our last break of the night. <laughs> Nasri doesn't count. Oh, man. <laughs> Did you guys see that interview a few weeks ago, Steve? Anthony Edwards is one of my favorite players that doesn't play Fly the Thunder. He's just such like a... Like a, a fun dude to probably be around. But did you see uh, the other, a few weeks ago when he was having his press conference and he said, hold up guys, I'm just, let me finish placing this order for McDonald's. And then he's trying to like place an order for like McDonald's to be delivered like Uber Eats. It's funny. Need like two McChickens. Zion. Kyrie. Jamal Murray autographs to 10 turn of the century that is Denver Nuggets last ball mojo Jonathan hopefully he's back soon gonna make that playoff push about D'Angelo Russell right there woohoo Marvin Bagley to 99 Drum around blue to 99 spellbound. And Kai Jones for the Hornets. To Jaden Springer. Jamal Murray, Hollywood. Not you. I hope you're not back soon. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I don't think he's played yet. I think he's... Ooh. LaMelo Ball, 7 out of 10. Gold. Well, it looks like more like bronze to you guys, but gold in person. Charlotte Hornets, that's uh, Brian Wofford. Very nice. The 
Zion. LeBron. Jalen Suggs. CD. She's going to kick you out of your man cave is what's going to happen, Steve. It's going to become Britney's cave. <laughs> I think you're going to have to pack your bags and leave. <laughs> LeBron James. Spellbound. Steven Adams. To 99. Lamelo. Cameron Thomas. Seth Curry. CJ McCollum. Steph Curry. Clippers, Kawhi, and another Giannis Galvan. There's a car, Anthony Towns, your three point champion. Redemption. Obi Toppin, your slam dunk champion. 24 out of 49. Westbrook glass cleaners. He'd be laying bricks. <gasps> Woo! My first Josh Giddy to 9.99. There we go. 5.14. Rookie of the year, right here, Josh Giddy. Talonhorn Tucker. LeBron, James Harden, and James Donald, or Donaldson, did I miss, miss Donaldson? Donaldson, there you go. Dallas Mavericks. All right, six left in that uh, NT Baseball, guys. Let's sell it out. And we'll show the redemption right now after this. Impact Impressions, Charles Barkley. Chuck. Now I got to make sure to see which team they have them on. Could be a couple different ones. So, actually, ooh, this is kind of sad, but it's... So, here, I'll show you guys the checklist. This is card number four, Impact Impressions. So, it looks like for Impact Impressions, he is with the Houston Rockets, which will be going to Danny. But he does have an Elite Signatures, 
Uh, card number eight, that's with the Phoenix Suns. So just a little FYI right there. That's why we double check the checklist. So Houston Rockets with that one. KD is, is KD a redemption? KD is, is in the set. KD is in the set. <laughs> so the way the cookie crumbles, Arthur. Why do you have to play for multiple teams and sign for multiple teams, right? Am I right or what? Should only pick one. But... Houston with that one. All right. Next three boxes. Start with Panini's heads, Arthur. Start with them. Joe's going to be first, then I'll be second. Are we too slow, Rex? Can I get the Cubs?
All right, just just a lot of fly guys. I mean, we still have plenty of time. This over an hour, but we have six teams left: Orioles at 80, White Sox 80, uh, Cleveland Guardians at 34, Pirates at 70, Padres at 80, and Washington Nationals at 70. Yeah, we did, Chad. Well, it, it, well, first of all, that mixer was fun. It's just the leaf stuff. And then, look, this is, this is, what, I, this is what I think. Like, and I, I talked about it yesterday. It's not really the Panini thing. If they put, if they, because Panini can put out the teams that these players are on. It's more like the leaf thing. But, like I was telling people yesterday, it's more of the, it's more of like group break checklist. Look, I love group break checklist, right? I'm sure most people do. Right, you guys, they separated for you guys by team, so you don't even have to go scrolling through, like, the official checklist or control F, like I do with, uh, you know, Carbo Connection. But Carbo Connection is the most official, besides, like, you know, Beckett and stuff like that. I just like Carbo Connection's website better. But, you know, it's just more like, if Group A Checklist doesn't create the checklist, then we go by college rules, right? Where teams are currently on teams they play for the longest. But if they create it, then we go by that checklist... And then, I've seen the person that runs Group Break Checklist update quickly, and then doesn't update quickly, you know? So it's more like, it's, it's kind of like tricky, because if he doesn't update it quickly, then it kind of makes a lot of controversy, you know? It's more like, if Group Break Checklist never existed, for any Leaf product, we just go by teams they're currently on, right? So, that's the one thing. Not so much Panini. Panini, I, I like. I mean, they're check, they can still put out baseball with just the, the city names, which helps out a lot. Zion Williamson, Kyle Anderson. But yes, with the whole Oscar Colas thing, when I called Nick, I do agree in the sense that like the only reason why. They were international or none at the time was because they hadn't signed with anybody, but now they have. Which again, if there wasn't a checklist to even prove that, we would go by college rules, right? So I get the argument, but it just sucks, you know. Yeah, and I ended up doing it for all the other prospects, as well. Jack Sigma, the only ones we did randomize after all was just like the high school prospects that were literally like 15 years old. And like, uh, you know, going to college, haven't been drafted yet type of deal. Giannis. Terrence Davis. Ooh, another Josh Giddy. Man, Mark, sell me one of these. There's actually like a big line going through this one. Giddy up.
Trey Murphy. Damn on the fly, who cares about the Nucks and Ducks right now? Yeah, and that's why I called Dick to just confirm that, like, do we stay with that or is it only because, like, you know, he was a prospect at the time and hadn't signed with anybody. And now that he's signed in, yeah. I just, I just went with what Nick said. I honestly, if he would have uh, stuck with it, I would have went with what he said, but, you know. I, I do agree on both parts, but I think a little bit more of the college rules type of deal for that, for that sense. So that's what we'll be doing from now on, at least. Especially if, like, it says international. And it's like a leaf product and shit like that, you know. Alright. Let's go with the next one. Leaf only had a checklist... Or, sorry, they both have checklists on Cardboard Connection, Chad, but uh, on Group Break Checklist, they only had the checklist for Leaf Metal Draft, not Pro Set. So, for the most part, most of the players that were in Pro Set were in Leaf Metal, so it was easy for me to tag. But for the players that weren't, then we went by College Rules, teams that they're currently unaffiliated with, associated with, or teams they played for the longest if they were retired. See, that's the thing. Something like that could happen, Chad. That, that's the most, that's the kind of the most, you know, kind of frustrating part. Because I've seen it in the past. The guy that runs a group of checklist does update it. Yeah, but for the most part, it was all the same players minus like a few. So, it, 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 I ended up just actually using Leaf Metal Draft. You know what I mean? Because it was exactly the same, really. Like, probably 85%, 90% of the cards were literally the same players. And they would go to the team that they're associated with anyways. For that sense. Morrison. See, that that's the confusing part. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Is that one has a checklist, one doesn't. So it's like, ugh. <laughs> you know? So, uh, I guess just do our best. I don't think anybody would argue that those literally the same players pretty much. Russell Westbrook. Jared Butler. Culver, the Bama to Bio die cut to eighty seven. Ooh, and Trey Man, nice break for the Thunder finally. I think I need some good Thunder players. Kelly Olenek, Lulu, wow, that's a Lulu Gold, two out of ten. Oh, Oregon's playing Arizona right now. Wait, what? Oh. Oregon could have upset. Almost. Scotty Barnes. Yeah, they only lost by three. That was actually a close game. It was a close game. Oregon actually been playing pretty decent down the stretch. Actually, they they beat out a couple of top ranked teams. I 
don't know what happened though. I tuned in right when the buzzer beat. Oh, did I? Uh, yeah, I just tuned in when like the buzzer beat and they said the game is over. What happened? What is he doing? He has to shoot a three. He has to shoot a three, right? They're down by three. Were they down by three or down by two? That's weird. <laughs> I don't. I don't think the Huskies are in any any position to even worry about basketball. You have to wait till football season, but it won't matter anyways. We'll still get beat by Oregon. Yeah, I feel like some of these dunkers couldn't execute on their first, first, first one. You know, but but you know, Obi Toppin's. Uh, that first one when he like literally jumped over the dude like literally like he didn't even touch him like you know most people usually just touch their back if he would have like dunked that one on the first shot first try that would have been pretty cool you know but I mean they were okay it was, some of them were okay but I don't know I just feel like nowadays like what do we expect from dunkers I don't know you know I, I mean what are they gonna really do to amaze us I feel like we've already seen almost every dunk right I guess it's just more like, can they do it on their first try? Like, to repeat a certain type of dunk. <laughs> Talk about the Huskies. <laughs> Avery Johnson. Alright, last boss, guys. Spurs. With that one. Uh, Matt Daniels. Wendell Carter Jr. I am. Beef Stew. CP3, Chris Paul. 48 and 97 for the Suns. LeBron. Yeah, LeBron. Yeah, that Levine Gordon one was really nice. Isaiah Livers. Pan Palace to 149. That one was pretty iconic for sure. And they were just going toe to toe, right? Like, it's just straight. Man. They were both just going at it. Alrighty guys, well that is it. That was the first six boxes here. We got all the auto Lulu out of ten. So over there, a couple of Josh Giddies we got, Charles Barkley, Lamelo to ten. Not bad, not bad. Second half's in the store, guys. That'll be breaking tomorrow with Joe. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it. <laughs>